Okay, so this won't happen because the UFC, they don't really like to take, you know, the fans' advice. Um, but this would be a great idea for UFC 285. I just made a fan-made poster yesterday uh, for this upcoming card. Uh, the main event and co-main, I mean, is rumored to be obviously Jones versus Ngannou. And then the co-main is supposed to be Sterling versus somebody, whether it be O'Malley or Cejudo. I pray that it's Henry Cejudo because it's a bigger fight and a bigger challenge for the champion Aljamain Sterling. So we got the the co-main and main. Let's say that's official, right? And it's happening March 4th on pay-per-view in Las Vegas. One more addition they should add to this card, I believe, should be uh, what's at the bottom of the screen right here see that i think as the feature fight they should add a third title fight to the card and that should be valentina shevchenko making a return against alexa grasso three title fights the bigger the march card right that would be a great idea shevchenko versus grasso at ufc 285 book it because valentina doesn't have an opponent she's been trying to fight for a while now and Santos is booked up with Aaron, and uh, Menon is out till the summer. So, and they're not going to make Tatiana get a title shot while unranked and not having fought in four years. So, who better than Alexa Grasso? Alexa is game. I don't care what you haters say. She's game. She's down. She's ready. So, unless they're going to do a champ versus champ fight with Valentina and Amanda, this is the fight. Shevchenko versus Grasso. Cejudo versus Sterling, co-main, main event in Ganu versus Jones, that's your perfect card at UFC 285, and on top of that, we already got Shavkat, Rachmanov, and Jeff Neal, and Brunson versus Duplessis, so imagine that being your main card, to open up the main card, Brunson versus Duplessis in middleweight, welterweight, you got Shavkat versus Neal, and then the three title fights, Shevchenko, Grasso, Sterling, Cejudo, Jones versus Ngannou. This would be like the best card to start off the year. It'd be an amazing card because 283 is kind of lacking. It's not that bad. 284 is really lacking, so we need a good card in March. I have a feeling UFC London's going to be stacked because they always stack up those cards. But this one in Vegas, they got to really value this card because it's John and Ngannou. They got to have a big undercard under it. But that's just my idea. Let me know what you guys think.